Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do so. Press the bell icon and you'll be reminded and notified when I upload my latest videos, which I haven't done much of lately because I've been a little preoccupied. As you guys know, my mom moved back to Sri Lanka and that's taken up a little bit of my time so i haven't been very regular with my video making but i'm on to it guys the content is planned for the next couple of weeks and um i wanted to get back to something um that i've been thinking about doing for a while now which is um motivated i think by a lot of questions i get from young girls especially about um, relationships and self-identity, individuality, self-confidence and various other related topics. So I thought let me make a video about um, how to be single and still be joyful. <laughs> Do I know all about this? No, not really. Am I a work in progress? Yes, I'm still kind of working on a um, holistic approach to this whole being single thing um, and I'll tell you why as well. So this video is being made not from I've got it all figured out point of view but more from um, this is how I'm kind of um, working along um, the information that I have and certain bits of wisdom that I have and I hope this helps you the way that certain other people and their wisdom has helped me. So um, yeah just be open-minded guys um, and also just feel free to share your thoughts and um, share your experiences with me so that we can kind of all grow together and learn together. Alright so without much ado let's just get right to it. So number one tip or um, piece of wisdom or whatever you want to call it is to have personal goals and dreams. This I think is really important and also something that um, us girls tend to forget and even guys sometimes where um, we do feel very much completed by another person and our sense of achievement is often attached to another person or even a relationship or being in one being part of a duo so what we tend to do is lose our individuality and lose our sense of self and this often happens um more when you're a little bit younger so in your early 20s um and then as we grow, as we experience things, as we experience ups and downs and even breakups, heartbreaks, we do tend to then um, view ourselves differently. But mainly I think it's really important to maintain um, your dreams and goals and a sense of who you are regardless of what's going on around you. The main way this will help you stay joyful because that's what we're trying to achieve here, a life of joy and peace. Um, I think the main way this helps you be joyful is because um, having your own dreams and goals helps you be more in control because your journey, um, your outlook, your behavior, your effort, your energy, your vibe is something that you can control and, and um, navigate in a way that's um, beneficial to you, is positive for you. But you can't do that for another person, right? It's not in our control. So I think um, rather than sort of uh, focusing our energy on somebody else and how they can help us grow or be positive or feel happy it's important to kind of internalize that and try and figure out a way where we focus on our own dreams and goals and how to um, sort of move one step at a time towards achieving them and that gives you a sense of achievement that gives you a sense of accomplishment right so i think um this is one of the biggest things I've learned um, in the years that I've spent on this planet and I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that's a really really important part of being single and joyful. So a part of also being focused on your own dreams and goals is that being single sometimes allows you to have experiences and learn things and do things that you otherwise wouldn't, right? So even something as simple as having dinner by yourself in a restaurant or um, traveling by yourself 
a lot of people who've been in long-term relationships and have come out of it and um, have kind of not known what to do and tried to experiment with different things and experience different things have um, shared that this was a huge um, sort of eye-opening experience for them because this is the first time that they're actually spending time by themselves and even doing things um, by themselves so now for example um, even if you have like maintenance work at your house and you've been married and you're you know recently um, single this is something that you are now attempting to do by yourself get stuff done by yourself there's no one to depend on so I think this again can be a very empowering um, experience for most people if you haven't read the book um, eat pray love that's a really good start as well it really um, helped me in some tough times and a lot of other women which is why it's a bestseller but um, yeah that's that's kind of a book that will guide you in this direction as well about new experiences and really kind of um, you know growing into more of yourself all right so this one in my list I've got a star next to because it's just so important um, you must remind yourself every single second of every single day that you are complete you are whole by yourself whether you're a girl or a boy it's so important to understand that you are complete on your own there is no missing pieces no missing um, you know puzzle bits that you have to put together to be complete you are complete on your own anything that you add to your life anyone that you add to your life is complementing you it is adding to what you already are and what you already have so don't be under the impression that you are looking for your soulmate or looking for um, you know somebody who's a companion for life to complete you okay come into this a hundred percent come into any relationship a hundred percent don't go into it 50 percent looking for your other 50 percent that's why most relationships fail so um, again don't mean to sound like a guru because I'm not I'm just going by things that I know and have learned and um, have read and things that have helped me so yeah I hope that helps you as well so another thing I think when you get into a relationship um, a lot of people don't ask this one question from themselves and I urge you if you're feeling single and unhappy ask yourself this question ask yourself why it is that you want to be in a relationship right is it because society says so is it because everyone that you know is in a relationship is it because you're lonely is it because you'd like to do these really fun things and you need somebody to participate <laughs> Is it because you have these life goals like getting married or having children that you want to complete and you need somebody? So just ask yourself why and more often than not what you'll find is that you have very sort of externally motivated answers to that question which means uh, okay let's go back the one reason why you should be in a relationship is because you're ready number one and number two is that you are so complete on your own and you are so joyful and peaceful on your own accomplished on your own that you now have this love this care and nurturing and all sorts of things that you are ready to share so the key word is ready the only reason to be in a relationship is when and if you're ready okay not because of any other external pressure that comes at you and that's something you will know um, very intrinsically and that's not something that you can um, fake for a long time so ask yourself this question very genuinely because it will clear up a lot of the fog around this wanting to be in a relationship and the unhappiness you may have um, being single so yeah, just ask yourself the question of why it is that you want to be in a relationship, right? Is it for yourself or for others? Another thing that I wish we told each other more often and I wish that I had heard more often, right? And that is don't compare. Don't compare your journey and your timeline to others because everybody's got a journey and everybody's um, got their own timeline of how their life is based on their previous experiences um, things they've been through in the past and um, the life they've had we have no idea what that's all about and we are often looking at somebody's chapter 7 um, end chapter perhaps even chapter 13 and sort of comparing our chapter 2 or chapter 1 
to their you know mid chapters we're like oh we want it really fast we want it right now they have everything why don't we have it it happens um, in every area of our lives whether it's you know professionally whether it's you know other dreams and goals based um, kind of comparisons but you know we are always doing that and it is a huge cause of unhappiness and we don't want that we absolutely don't want that so do not compare yourself to anyone else just be focused on being one step one notch better than who you were yesterday and your only goal in life should be personal growth and that you know encompasses all areas of your life even if it's a relationship um, how are you going to be better at being in a relationship how are you going to be better um, being caring or loving or supportive or um, reliable or responsible than you know the previous relationship that you were in so there's a lot of homework involved we can't just um, expect things to work out by just jumping into something because it's the thing to do right so that impulsiveness if we take that out and if we take the comparisons out then you will find that sometimes being single is actually really really joyful because it is the comparison that really hurts us so when you're single and unhappy it's the comparisons that are actually really really um, damaging to you so don't do that to yourself do not compare you are absolutely perfect in your own timeline and everything is happening in perfect time note that down write it down tattoo it i don't care just remember that everything is happening in perfect time and there is a reason for why it's happening in that pace and in that timeline all right another thing that i wish we all reminded ourselves of more often is that happiness is an inside job okay the moment we attach happiness our own internal bliss to somebody else something else some goal some dream um, some experience that we're going to have tomorrow or we want to have tomorrow or you know next year or whatever it is um, the more that we are going to be unhappy in the moment that we are in right now because all we have as we all know is the present so I think it's really really important for us to kind of just understand that each moment can be a joyful experience if we understand that it all comes from within okay do not sort of um, leverage your happiness on somebody else because this works in a couple of ways guys it actually gives other people and external circumstances a lot of power unnecessarily as well so the moment that something doesn't go the way you want it to go you will be unhappy so the most important thing to understand is that things will happen people will be people will be the way they want to be your reaction your response is the one thing that will help you be miserable or happy and peaceful right so take that power back take that control back and understand that happiness always will be an inside job all right guys so we're going about this and i don't want you to think that i'm you know sort of anti-relationships or i'm saying um you know you guys should be single that's the way to go no if you happen to be single i'm saying be joyful while you're at it right and while you're at it also don't be sort of averse to relationships welcome them welcome your ideal relationship try to attract that right person and that right relationship and to do that I think one of the main things is to prepare yourself right so there's a, an exercise that I think it's Master Sri Akarshana that says um, this is exercise that you have to do which is to um, list out all the qualities that you want in a potential partner and very specific like really down to like the tiniest details and um, also do it for the person that you're trying to attract so for example if I'm putting down the perfect qualities for Chris Hemsworth or Will Smith put down those qualities and then I will put down qualities for what Will Smith would be looking for in a woman in his ideal woman so you actually make a list for your partner as well right your potential partner 
So what happens is then you make that list. What would he want in a perfect partner? And you make that list and you check yourself against that list and you see which qualities you already have and which qualities you may have to improve on or add to your already existing wonderful qualities, right? So for example, if you're looking for a really fitness focused guy, this is just an example. They might also be looking for a really fitness focused girl. So is that something that you're willing to adjust or, I mean, these are just examples guys, but so what I'm saying is while you're waiting for that perfect situation to happen to you, for that perfect guy or girl to come to you, work on things that makes you a better match makes you a better person so you are prepared so when that person does finally come along you are in the most perfect version of yourself does that make sense it does make sense i'm sure of it so yeah um basically don't just sit there and be like oh, okay i'm just gonna wait for my perfect person no use that time use that time to actually work on yourself so it's not idle time, it's actually homework time, right? A lot of people don't do this part and they just expect this perfect person to come along and you are not ready to receive them. So the perfect person may come along, but the relationship doesn't work out. Yes, I know things. <laughs> All right, guys, so there's this other thing that I wanna bring to your focus. And um, it's something that I think is really, really crucial in finding your joy while you're single okay and this is to absolutely at all cost avoid seeking a relationship or a person from a place of desperation from life experience guys I'll tell you this much I feel like the wrong people can sense they can smell desperation so when you're desperate, you will always attract into your life, like some kind of a magnet, the worst possible candidates. And they never work. And they will leave you more damaged and more unhappy than you started off, right? So do not lead from a place of desperation. Always lead from a place of completeness, of self-assured pride. I'm not saying be like, you know uber proud and walk around being all snobby i'm saying be proud of who you are you are not any less because you are um you know not taken by somebody or or you know in a relationship you are not less right so don't let anybody um, make you believe that and this brings me to my last point guys um, social media and media in general will have you believe in some kind of a perfect relationship perfect person you have hashtags god goals you have hashtag couple goals you have ha hashtag perfect partner hashtag soulmate you have all sorts of hashtags right none of these or at least close to none of these are the reality especially being in the showbiz industry myself, knowing a lot of the stories that happen behind closed doors um, of a lot of the public, you know, sort of couple goals that we see um, without being disrespectful to anybody. I think it's really important that we set out a very realistic set of goals for the youngsters that kind of look up to um, those, you know, celebrities or public figures. Because I think, you know, we tend to judge situations and people and couples and, and families by just the photos that they post, okay? I myself know that I might put up a really happy picture on a really crappy day. I feel like I don't even want to get up off of my bed and yet you will see a really pretty picture. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is don't let that be what you are um, kind of measuring yourself against because the whole social media game is a very strategic one it's a very um, commercially driven one there are reasons for why people do certain things so people act a lot in front of the camera behind the camera they act all the time so just 
look at the picture be happy for people but don't be unhappy because you don't have that because you really don't even know what you're asking for okay so don't say oh why can't i have that do you really know what's going on there we don't so don't be asking for something you have no idea about all you know about is your own life and you can attract into it something that's perfect and wonderful because you're perfect and you're wonderful just the way you are so all the girls and boys who've um, asked me about this being single thing and about relationships and sometimes I see that a lot of people are trying to be in relationships that are so not right for them they seem toxic from the get-go and um, they ask me how to sort of you know fix that or how to um, salvage that and I don't want to tell them what to do whether to do it or not do it but I thought let me make this video so that you know being single doesn't mean you have to be miserable and sad okay so I hope this helped you guys and um, please do share your thoughts and much love to you all these are really trying times especially for Sri Lanka so I hope you guys stay safe and I hope you guys stay extra vigilant about yourselves and about your loved ones much love take care